Welcome back into our FPS project and the reason why we're back with this project is that we're going to take a look at how we can improve the inputs. Okay so for now we have a very simple input manager script and if we open the input manager script we are going to have our simple input get axis vertical so what we're going to do now is make a class that will be responsible for these inputs right here okay so let's go ahead and build the script and i'll name my script input constants okay so this is our script and what i'll do now is i'll delete the start and the update i will also delete the mono behavior because we are not going to need the script anywhere in our scene this is just gonna hold some references as we can see now we don't need the unity engine and basically we, we need nothing so we just need a blank script so what we're going to do with this script is very simple we are just going to define some public variables so for now let's define a public constant string so let's start with the axis and the first one is going to be named axis vertical and obviously the vertical will be vertical now if you're confused by why we wrote just vertical is because if we take a look at the input.get axis we're gonna see that we have vertical right here okay so next let's build the horizontal I'll just copy this axis horizontal and obviously the horizontal is horizontal right here so these are the axes that we can just get from here however we are also going to have buttons so let's quickly build the strings for the buttons so let's say public again constant string and let's name them buttons now button and we'll name this one fire so the fire will also be just fire the next button that we're going to need is a button to jump so let's quickly create that public constant string button jump and the jump will be equal to jump and the final button that we're going to add for now is public constant string reload so button reload and the reload is going to be reload now if we go ahead and take a look at our input system into our project right here as we can see we don't have a reload axis right here and back into our script we clearly named a button in here reload so I'm just gonna copy reload and make sure I don't spell it wrong and I'll just pick one of these for example debug.horizontal I just name this reload the negative will be deleted and the positive will be equal to R. The type will be set into key or mouse button right here and these can stay as they are. So now we're done with the input manager right here and all that's left for us to do is to implement this input constants over into our input manager. Okay, so the first class that we are going to introduce into our input manager is a float variable with a return type so we're going to say float get vertical and this will obviously return a vertical input and inside the brackets we are going to say a very simple line we're going to return a float obviously and the float is going to be equal to input dot get axes and obviously the string is going to be a input constant right here so we are going to say input constants dot vertical right here so now we are getting the input vertical in here so why did we go through all of this trouble to get vertical then put in some input constants then go back into input constants and get it from here well for example if we want to change the axis vertical we don't want to go and look for the input manager right here and change the axis because we might want to use this vertical axis multiple times into this script so rather than going and changing it into every single one of them we can keep this axis vertical and back here we can just change this vertical into whatever we want so let's save the script let's also save the script and let's use this vertical i'm obviously going to introduce all of those values into this type of input but i'm going to do that off camera so this is just to show you how you can process the input throughout this method so i'm going to go back into my controller right here 
and inside my controller we're going to see that this is where I change my input. So instead of just getting input.vertical, I'm just going to change both of these currencies and I'm going to swap them with get vertical. And as we can see, it doesn't really work. The reason for that is because this is not public. So I'm going to change this into public. I'm going to go back into my controller and I'll change this to get vertical. Okay, so now if I've done everything correctly, my game should be running fine. So now if I hit play, I should be able to move my character any direction I want. And as we can see, it works basically flawlessly. Maybe a bit laggy because I'm, I'm recording and playing at the same time, but you get the idea. So next videos, we are going to take a look at how we can fix this clipping issue. And obviously we are going to be working into this FPS series because I really like the FPS series. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. And before we close this video, uh, I just want to say if you don't like my videos, you don't have to comment down below and say that my videos are not very informative. You can just dislike the video or you can just unsubscribe. So thank you again and uh, I'll see you in the next videos.